everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Lucy and in today's video, we're going to be cooking a healthy meal. Hey everyone, what's up? Welcome back to our channel. I'm Ellie and in today's video, we're going to be cooking a healthy meal. Now, in this video, me and Lucy are both going to be obviously filming in our own houses as per usual and we're going to be cooking some of our favourite healthy food that we eat. Just a really simple, quick, easy dinner that is super healthy. For our family so before we get into this video please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up leave us a comment down below of any other videos you want to see on our channel it could be anything at all um it could be food videos it could be cooking videos it could be challenges anything you want to see and also please don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button and also the notification bell so without further ado let's get into the video So for my healthy meal, I'm actually going to be making a vegetable curry. Now, I'm going to be making this for three people, um, but the curry I'm making would probably serve like three to four. Now, me and my family love this recipe and we kind of, well, it's pretty simple, but we kind of made it ourselves, I guess. But I'm just going to give you guys a little run through of all my ingredients and then I'll kind of show you how I make it and how long it takes to cook and everything like that. So the first thing I have is just some a tin of rinsed and drained chickpeas. I also have some frozen green beans. I also have the rice measured out just in a separate bowl ready for that. And then I have a yellow pepper and a courgette. I also have some spinach just in here. I also have this pan which has some water and some chopped potatoes in. I've peeled the potatoes and then just chopped them into cubes. Um, and we always put potatoes in our curry. It just is really nice because it's a vegetable curry so it just kind of adds a little something to it. And then as you can see over on the stove there, I just have a pan which has water in ready for the rice. So the first thing I'm actually going to do is go and turn the stove on and get that water boiling ready for the rice. And I'm also going to put the pan with my pre-chopped potatoes on and then I will come back to show you guys what I do next. Before we get into this video, as you might have noticed, I'm in a completely different location today and I am in my kitchen. It's been really hard to find a good angle because our kitchen's quite narrow so it's hard to find somewhere to film. So the meal I'm making today isn't really a particular recipe but there's a girl called Anna Archer and she posts really nice food recipes so I'm going to be making these so I've got the recipe up on my laptop and it's healthier than normal nachos because you use sweet potato instead of the crisps and I love sweet potato I think it's really really nice and it's also really really healthy and you also use things like Greek yogurt instead of the sour cream and I have made this recipe a couple times before not loads it's kind of like a fairly new one but I really like what it tastes like so for this I'm kind of going to be following the recipe but also kind of changing some of the ingredients but I'll tell you exactly what I use as I go along the first step is to preheat the oven so i put it on 180 degrees and this is actually the only part of the recipe that needs to go in the oven the rest of it's like fried and all just doesn't need cooking and i've got my sweet potato here this is definitely more than 200 grams because that's all i need but i'm gonna start off by washing this and then i'll cut it up so i've just gone and scrubbed the sweet potato and then i've cut off 200 grams this is how much i need it doesn't look like that much but this is just like the base kind of like in place of the nachos obviously this only serves one this recipe if you wanted to make it for more than you could double it or something so now you have to cut it up into like circles it's quite hard to show you because the angle is not great i'm just chopping it into cylinders like around this thick maybe a bit thicker um but they cook quicker if they are thinner so i think it is a bit easier so as you can see and you might be able to hear that i've put the stove on and both the pans are now he heating up i've got the potatoes in the pan on the left and the next thing i'm going to do is actually chop my veg up now i'm just going to turn the camera so you can see our kind of counter and i'm just going to show you guys what i would do to chop the veg so the first thing i'm going to do is the courgette I'm just going to go ahead and chop the end bit here off of the courgette, put that to one side and I'm also just going to take a tiny bit off the bottom, then I'm going to go ahead and slice it down the middle. Now courgettes are normally kind of curved so I try and follow the curve so it's fairly even. So now I've cut my courgette in half, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into quarters. And then I'm just going to 
Start chopping it into chunks. So I've just got my tray here with kitchen foil on and I'm just going to lay the sweet potato on. Now I'm actually not putting oil on the tray. You could do if you wanted to, but I've done it before and I found that um, if you don't put oil on, they don't actually stick, which I was kind of surprised about the first time I did it, but it works well with and without and I just tend to do it without oil and it seems to work really well. So now that I've laid these on the tray, I'm just going to season them with salt and pepper. If you wanted, you could use different spices. I just usually use salt and pepper and then I might use some spice and then I'm also going to season them with some paprika which is a spice but it's not too spicy so I do put quite a lot of this on but it doesn't really taste too spicy this is what they look like all seasoned I've just put some spices on and now I'm going to put them in the oven which is finished preheating at 180 for maybe like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll flip them over and do them for another 10 to 15 minutes on the other side and then while these are cooking we can start with the next step now the next step is to fry some vegetables so i'm going to be using red bell pepper and also some onion now on the recipe the girl uses 95 grams of onion and 70 of pepper but i prefer to use more pepper than onion so usually i'll go for like 100 grams of pepper and then maybe like 70 to 80 grams of onions otherwise i feel like it's too strong so i've just cut the like insides of the pepper out so i've got half of it here maybe around 100 grams but it doesn't matter too much what the measurements are like it's not going to affect the recipe massively so if you just kind of use half pepper around that's fine so now i'm just going to cut it up into quite small pieces so as you can see i finished chopping my courgette and i added some green beans to the pan as well as a little bit of oil now i need to tip in my chickpeas and the spinach And I'm gonna go and put this on the hob to get it started cooking. And then I'm just gonna chop up my pepper and then add that into the pan. And I'll show you guys what that looks like when it's all done. So I just have my pepper and the first thing I'm gonna do is chop the end off of it. So now that I've chopped the top off and most of the seeds came out, I'm just going round and slicing down the sides just to open it up. So I'm now just removing the white from the inside of the pepper. So this curry is super, super easy to make and we really, really like it as a family. And it's really, really quick and also really, really healthy. Now, I'm just gonna talk to you guys for a minute while I finish chopping this up. But the sauce I'm gonna be using today is actually a pre-bought sauce. Now this just makes it even quicker. Um, however, sometimes we do actually make the sauce ourselves. But for speed today, I'm just going to be using a pre-made one. I will show you guys that in a second. So I've just finished cutting the pepper up. As you can see, it's kind of like the size that I've done it. So not massive, but sort of like a good size to cook. And then you can use whatever oil you want, but I'm just going to use a little bit of fry light. And I'm just going to spray some of this in the pan to cook these in. Oh, that is the timer for the first side of the sweet potatoes. So they were in for just under 15 minutes, and this is what they look like currently. I'm going to flip them over now. Some of them, like this one, aren't that cooked, because that one's a lot thicker. And then this one is, like, nearly cooked, because it's way thinner. I probably should have tried to make them more even, but it doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to flip all of these over, and then put them in for another 10 to 15 minutes while I carry on. Now the next thing I need to do is cut up the onion, which is my least favourite part, because... My eyes are really sensitive and usually I they water a lot when I cut up the onion. I'm not really sure how much I'm going to use. Maybe like half of it, but I'll have to just see. So firstly, I'm just going to peel the outer part off. Also, me and Ellie both do food tech for one of our GCSEs. I'm not sure if you know. So we learn lots about different bacterias and different things to do, like kitchens and safety and all of that. And we also do... We do get to cook, but it's not that often. It's like, well, it's like once every fortnight. So I finished peeling the onion and like cut the top and bottom bits of it off. And now I need to chop it up. Similar size to the pepper. And hopefully it's not going to affect my eyes. I can feel it affecting them already. Okay, I'm just going to do this as quickly as possible. Onion's quite easy to chop because it's all in layers. Once you kind of go one way, all just sort of, the layers almost fall out. So it doesn't take too long to cut up. My eyes are watering a bit though. Okay, that's basically cut up already. I'm just making the pieces a little bit smaller. You don't want the onion to be too small because it does cook a bit quicker than the pepper and you don't want to burn it. 
also this recipe is super like quick and easy to do so you can definitely do it if you don't have too much time and it's kind of like just chucking sort of random things together um it's not like it needs too many complicated ingredients or anything so that is the onion it looks kind of like some bits are a bit bigger but it's just because it's in layers oh my god my eyes are stinging so much but the onion is cut up please ignore what i look like so i'm just gonna get this on to cook with the red pepper i don't cook it too high just because i don't want to burn it's pretty like a medium heat i'd say so because i'm vegetarian i'm just using some of this corn mince but you can use actual meat if you wanted to this is just what i prefer to use and i'm going to be using maybe like 80 90 grams of that not really sure just around that amount but before i put that in i'm just letting the pepper and onion cook a little bit first i have got this massive frying pan here i know you can't really see it um this way it looks like and we do have smaller ones but they need washing up and also i'm using a salad um spoon because again all i have to do is need washing up but i'm just starting to cook these a little bit and then i'll add in the corn mince you can kind of see it's like starting to go a little bit more brown so i think now i'm gonna add in the corn mince it looks kind of weird when it's frozen um but i'm just gonna add this in as well and cook this with it if you guys watching have any other recipes that you want us to try making that we either have made before or ones that we know we'd like to share with you just let us know down in the comments and we'd love to make them because we really me and Ellie both love cooking and it's also quite a good video to film at the moment when we have to film separately so leave us a comment down below and we'll definitely make them i'm just making sure that i stir the comments and vegetables regularly it's not on a massively high heat it's kind of like medium so i'm also adding a little bit of paprika to the mix just to give it a little bit of spice it's not too spicy so it doesn't get like really hot but it just adds a little bit now on the recipe the girl uses 80 grams of tomatoes 70 grams of cucumber and then 20 grams of spring onions but obviously as i said before i'm allergic to tomatoes so i won't be using those but i am going to be using the cucumber 70 grams and then i don't use as much as 20 grams of spring onion because i feel like it's quite strong so i'm just going to use one they're not that big but i feel like if i use more than one um it's going to taste a bit too much so i'm going to cut this up as well as the cucumber so as you can see i have already chopped some of my pepper but i've got a little bit left to do and for the pepper, I'm just kind of slicing it into bits about this size and then cutting those in half because I don't want them to be too small as there's lots of other things in the pan that are similar sizes. And that means that if they're all similar sizes, they'll all cook in the same amount of time. Although pepper does cook a little bit quicker, so it doesn't really matter that I've put the pan on and I'm now chopping it. But as you can see, I'm just chopping it into chunks. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this to the pan and then I will come back in a little while once all the veg is cooked. As you can see, this looks super, super healthy and the spinach all wilts and kind of goes over everything, which is really, really nice. I've just mixed it up. It's a very green, but it all depends on what veg you put in. And then I've just got my potatoes and my rice cooking at the back there. And then I will add the potatoes into the veg in a little while. The bits that I was frying, I'd say, are pretty much cooked, as you can kind of see. And then the cucumber and spring onion is chopped up i just kind of make it like oh it's rolling off and i just kind of chop it up about this size also my sweet potato is just finished so i've just got that out of the oven all the bits that i put in for a little bit longer then you want to chop up some avocado we want to mash it up like a guacamole and i'm going to use about 60 grams of this but probably just like half the avocado here i've got my avocado which i'm now just going to mash up and then to the avocado i'm adding some salt and some pepper just to give it some flavor and then also some of these chili flakes and these are quite spicy um so you don't want to add too many and that is the like guacamole bit done so that is pretty much everything done i think so now we kind of just have to layer it and put it all together into one dish so i've got my plate here and the first thing i'm going to be doing is putting the sweet potato on the bottom and you could use um actual nacho crisps for this but sweet potato i find tastes really nice so i've just layered those on the bottom and then next i'm going to take my like onion and pepper and corn mint and put that onto the sweet potato i'm just adding this on top now i've got this i'm gonna layer the cucumber and spring onion and if you were doing tomato you could add that on as well so for today like i said earlier i'm going to be using a pre-bought sauce just because it is a lot quicker than making it yourself 
and I'm going to be using this Sharwood's Tikka Masala cooking sauce. Now this is only one spice level which is really really good and everybody likes it. Um, and this actually serves four so I'm going to put the whole jar in just because I have quite a lot of veg in the pan as well as the potatoes and everything and it's really nice when it's like got lots of sauce in. So I'm going to tip this into the pan and add the potatoes in and then I will show you guys what it looks like kind of all mixed together and then I'll probably give that about 10 minutes more to cook like all combined in the pan and finish cooking the rice and then I will plate up and see you guys in a bit. So I've now added the sauce into our curry and this is what it looks like. It looks super super yummy and I cannot wait to eat this. It's one of my favourite things to have and with all the veg and the potatoes and the sauce and everything it just looks really really nice. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This is what it looks like currently. It looks like a lot of cucumber and spring onion, but I did follow the recipe, so I think it just looks like that. And then I'm gonna add the guacamole on now as well. And then the last step for me is adding some, I'm gonna use Greek yogurt, and this is what she is in the recipe. You can use sour cream as well, but Greek yogurt's healthier, and I think it tastes pretty similar. So I'm gonna add some of this. And if you can eat tomatoes and you like tomatoes, you can add salsa, and that would really add to it and make it really nice as well. But again, I can't have that, so I'm gonna add, I think it's 50 grams of this Greek yogurt. And here is the finished dish. Obviously I've got the guacamole and yogurt on the top and then the rest of it underneath. And I'm really excited to try this. It's super quick and easy and I definitely recommend making it yourself if you want it because it took me way less than an hour. I'm not really sure how long, but not long at all. And you can kind of also change it and make it your own. Like if you don't like one part, you can take it out or substitute it with something else. Um, obviously I don't have the tomatoes in it so I'm going to try some of this now. So I'm just going to try and get some of each part of it. I love what this tastes like. I really like how the sweet potato is kind of like sweet um, a bit. I don't know, it's like all different textures and flavours and I just think together they all go really nicely together and taste really really good. And overall, it's definitely a very balanced and healthy meal because there's the dairy from the yogurt, there's the carbs from the sweet potato, and then there's the vegetables, which are really healthy. And I definitely recommend trying this, even if you haven't had sweet potato much or any of the parts really, it does taste really good. So that is my meal done. So I'm sorry for the noise in the background, but I have my curry and my rice served up now. It probably had another like 10 to 12 minutes once I put the sauce and the potatoes in. And I just kind of let it cook on the hob, obviously, in the pan. And then my rice finished cooking and I've just put it all in this bowl. And now I'm gonna try it. So now we're gonna try it, although I have had this curry before, so I know I do like it, but I put a couple of different veg in. I mean, I always kind of just put whatever we have in the house, vegetable wise, in a curry. But I'm just trying to get a little bit of everything. And as always, that was really, really nice. And I'm so excited to finish eating this. As you can see the steam, it's very, very hot, but it's really, really nice. And the sauce, the veg, the rice, it all just comes together really, really well. And I'm really looking forward to finishing this. So that is it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment down below, as I said earlier in the video, of any other recipes you'd like us to try or any cooking challenges or any other videos you want to see on our channel. And if you're new here, as always, subscribe down below, hit the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload. Go follow our Instagram because we are becoming more active on it and it'll be a picture on screen here now, but it's at underscore Lucy underscore Ellie underscore. And hopefully we'll see you all in the next video. Bye. Bye. Thank you.